Alright, what we're doing here is live music as always. Five live sessions today. This is the morning show on Listener Power on KEXP. I'm John Richards. Great to be here today. Thank you for tuning in. And I start a lot of people's day, and that's a great responsibility. From a 4 a.m. wake up to making sure DJs are on the air throughout the day, to making sure I'm never missing any music. Correspondence with listeners is constant. Talking to KEXP DJ John Richards, it's easy to get the impression he hasn't taken a day off since he joined the station 15 years ago. I started at KEXP when we were KCMU, and we were on the UW campus in the CMU building. Back then, the station was broadcasting 400 watts of listener-powered radio, a huge boost from their early days when, in 1972, KCMU debuted with a mere 10 watts of power. 40 years later, now with 4,000 watts under their hood, they are considered one of the most influential independent radio stations in the world, with their license held by the University of Washington. So if you break down our, our mission, which is a very short one, uh, to enrich people's lives by championing music and discovery, to enrich people's lives is really the core of it. I would say there's a bit of a re recipe, which is find really amazing, DJs, people who love music, who really know music, but they also have that other dimension, which is they can't help but share music. So we're able to know and identify great bands, great songs, get those on the air early and often, from Macklemore being played here for the first time to going number one in the country, to the Lumineers being the first played on the morning show, one of the top albums of the year. I really love bands and artists that can take something and own it. And I also really love just hearing something different, experimental, weird. Your heart beats for another day. I still believe you love At KEXP, innovation is the key to success. They weren't the first to broadcast online, to have an app, to put videos on YouTube but they believe they do these things better than anyone else. Because there's some emotion behind it, some humanity behind it, and I think that's what other people miss. The videos have a really raw, live feel. The most dramatic growth in the KEXP story is in dollars, more than 600,000 raised in their spring fund drive alone. The majority of that from listeners, the rest from underwriters and major gifts. We have no demographic. We have the kid who just came in and who's one. We have the adult who came in at 80 and dropped off their donation for the station because they love it. KEXP went through a major transformation in 2002 thanks to a $3 million three-year gift from former Microsoft billionaire Paul Allen. And I don't think we'd be able to speak to all the different ways we're able to serve folks unless we could, uh, could be pointing to Paul Allen's support. The ability to program, the freedom to program the way we do and touch people's lives like we're able to do at KXP, that motivates me constantly. It's about loving music and wanting to advance a mission of a place that, you know, is all about discovery 